Good day to everyone. Hello to all residents. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jade Andap Kalita, a six-year optometry student from Mindanao Medical Foundation College, currently interning here at the Del Mundo. Today, I'm excited to present a case study titled Navigating Developmental Challenges, a case study of a child with mild autism and intelligence disability. Autism spectrum disorder, commonly known as ASD, is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects the child's social interaction, communication, and behavior. Intellectual disability naman is characterized by significant limitation in intellectual functioning, especially with IQ below 70 and adaptive behavior. So, they may face challenges in areas learning, problem solving, and adapting to new situation. So, this limitation can impact a child's learning pag merong mild ASD plus intellectual disability and the child's developmental path is complex. So, the child's learning and socialization often making it hard to adapt to new environments kasi match and uh, meron silang dalawa autistic traits and the intelligence disability now let's delve into the heart of our case we have a seven-year-old boy born on april 14 2016 currently second grade student at sped bigomes elementary school his parents main concern is his tendency to become easily distracted particularly in noisy and crowded environments making it challenge for him to maintain focus and task or sabi pa ng father mabilis lang talaga ma-distract lalo na pag madaming tao tapos maingay di siya maka-focus sa gagawin niya and in September 2020 naman, a recent medical history naman ni baby that he had a dengue, though it didn't lead to any severe complication. He was delivered via cesarean section, but no further details were provided. Additionally, there are no non-genetic factors contributing to his condition. And between the ages of 2 and Three from 2018 to 2019, the child resided with his maternal grandparents in Pampanga as his parents and sister were often absent. And it was less Manila. During this period, a noticeable decline in speech development was observed and also displayed behaviors like lining up cars and sensitivity to sounds, then offering kinakover niya yung ears. His parents attributed that this behavior could be because of lack of companionship and interaction during this time. And in 2020, at the age of four years old, the child underwent a neurologic assessment at UST. The diagnosis revealed a mild autistic condition with intellectual disability. Following this, his parents initiated a home therapy program lasting about six months with session lasting three hours per day. And there is a substantial improvement, were noted. His coordination improved, yung sleepers niya hindi na reverse. He could identify and count 1 to 100 and also identify sea, land, and air animals. And he is fascinated with dinosaurs. And he displayed heightened sensory awareness. However, constructing sentences remained a challenge for him. So the child exhibits an affectionate nature, often seeking hugs, preferring to sleep alongside with his parents. And also, he displays an observant um, attention, especially when he is playing and likely to put closer in his eye. Additionally, he occasionally engaged in vengeful behavior pag magagalit siya. When he is upset, he, he is doing repetitive behaviors. But he is easily reconciled. And pag magsasabi na yung parent niya na kiss, mo, kiss na, kiss na, so it means na okay na, sorry na. So at 5 years old, 2021, um, ay hindi. 
he developed a keen interest in cars. Uh-oh. 2021 nga. Likely influenced by their proximity to a road. Kasi malapit lang yung bahay nila dun sa um, daanan ng mga sasakyan. He consistently diverts his attention when a car passes. So if meron siya, like nag magdudumi siya, Mata- masa-stop yung pag dunya ng tas kasi pupunta siya doon, titingin siya, mag-watch siya sa uh, the as car passes. So, here. We will now delve into the findings. So, doing the external eye examination, it reveals normal condition. Well, the internal examination naman um, was not conducted due to child's unwillingness kasi ayaw niya na merong something in front of him. And during the far visual acuity test, the child removed the patch so hindi natin magagawa yung monocular. So the result is both eyes, 2030. And for the near vision naman, he was able to read at J6. J6. And this indicate na good yung vision ni patient. And however, pag nagre-read siya near up close, um, ni gumagamit kami ng pencil or yung hand para i-point yung letters. And the pupillary reflex naman exhibit dilation of about 5 mm even there if there is direct light. And um, it is hard to, it is challenging to really see the constriction. And the child's dominant eye is the left one and he is right-handed. He can perceive unrecognized colors but experience difficulty when it comes to matching them. So, yung score niya sa color is 3 out of 6. He excels in perceiving light, motion, and picture figures and recognize um, dinosaurs. He even named them, identify them. While his form recognition is solid, he encounters challenges when trying to match shapes. So... Uh, maya, meron tayong mga pictures na ipapakita. Interestingly, he demonstrate increased attentiveness and performance when using a tablet for game. So, yung tablet meron siyang mga match-match din para din siyang mga um, activities din. So, mas better siya doon sa tablet. So, here um, sa picture, makikita nyo pinopoint namin yung um, letters when reading and even the pencil. And here are the results sa kanyang form perception, color perception, number pr- recognition, and letter recognition. And also, a sample of paano siya magsulat. Um, EU1, Carlos. Then yung mga parang circular ones, yan yung mga circles niya. Hindi niya kaya ma- ma- make yung perfectly round kasi hindi good yung kanyang kamay. And... When asked to get the orange and color the circle one, kaya naman niya. But there is a delay when yung, yung sa green, yung sa request, na green na naman yung gagamitin to color the square. And also, here are the um, pictures, the um, how the, the results, so how he trace circles, triangles, cars, and... Um, mas mabilis siya dun sa mga cars and mas better yung pag um, Joe, pag trace niya. Now, um, andito na tayo sa fit light assessment. On September 12, day 1, there was an evidence of inattention and unilateral tap. So, um, individual lang, like one hand lang ginagamit niya to tap and hindi niya makaya din matap yung mga light. But, by day 2, um, bilateral na taps na ang nagagawa niya, left and right, pero palang, para lang siya nagpe-play ng jam. And still lack intentional precision to tap the light talaga. And the alpha catch assessment naman sa day 1 natin, he was unable to catch. And his hands were slow and stiff movements. So, giga, gigamit kami ng gloves in order to catch the ball. And his grip was not particularly strong. And assessing the... And by day two, he nag-improve naman and can hold the ball. Then, to assess the palma reflex, sa day one, revealed na weak talaga yung grip niya sa ball. But by day two, nag-improve siya. And there are noticeable improvement 
yung kanina yung mga tracing ng mga shapes mas better than yung sa first try namin. And now here are the pictures. So the first picture if makikita niyo nagtingin siya dito sa camera and he is only using his one hand to tap and wala talaga attention. Then, yung sa baba naman, if makikita nyo, yung hands niya is naka-stiff lang. So, yun, nagamit kami ng gloves para makatch niya yung ball. But the day to naman, September 14, um, he is more attentive and um, trying to do it uh, bilateral taps. Then, pero hindi pa rin niya makakaya na matap talaga yung light lang. And as you can see, yung sa dito sa nag-catch siya ng ball, makita mo yung grasp niya, ganito lang. So, hindi pa talaga um, stronger yung grip niya. And moving on to the primitive reflexes, we successfully evaluated all the five um, tests, uh, reflexes here. Um, four lang yung na-record natin. And specifically, the tonic labyrinth reflex scored about five out of five. The ATNR or asymmetric tonic neck reflex scored 3 out of 5. Well, the symmetric tonic neck reflex naman is perfect na hindi niya talaga matama. So, retained pa rin, 5 out of 5. The spinal gallant reflex naman is isa lang yung hindi niya makaya. So, 1 out of 5. And the moral reflex scored about 4 out of 5. So, furthermore, we assess also the child based on the portage from ages ginamit namin is 4 to 5 years old. Given that he is now 7 years old, the findings indicated performance below the expected level. Sa motor area, he accomplished 2 out of 16 tasks. And in the cognitive area naman, he completed 4 out of 22 tasks. While in the language area, he achieved 1 out of 15 tasks. In the self-help area, he managed to complete only 2 out of 23 tasks. Lastly, in this in the socialization area naman, he achieved 2 out of 9 tasks. So as you can see, the motor, all of the portage na mga areas need pa talaga natin ma-improve. So the example, yung sa picture natin, yung ATNR, primitive reflex. So makita nyo talaga, even just by looking, meron talaga mga retained na mga reflex. And now, certainly the diagnosis of mild autistic condition and intellectual disability signifies a complex interplay of various developmental factors in the 7-year-old boy's overall functioning and behavior. So having a mild autistic condition implies that the child exhibit a certain characteristics that seems like the ASD, however, in a milder extent. In his case, it manifests a heightened sensitivity to noise and motion, lalo na uh, merong dumadaan ng mga cars malapit sa bahay nila, which can lead to distraction and yung speech delay and tendency to line up cars. And additionally, the indication of a specific interest Yung sa cars, sa dinosaurs, align siya doon sa autistic traits. And despite this characteristic, it is noteworthy that the child also uh, demonstrate an affectionate behavior. No, agad-agad, agad lang uh, reconcile after moments of frustration. And meron din siyang repetitive behavior. And moreover, the presence of intellectual disability influences the child's cognitive abilities. As seen in the port stage guide based on ages 4 to 5, yung, yung lahat ng areas dun, it indicates a level of functioning below what is expected for his age. While he's shown progress at different um, areas, good naman siya, numerical proficiency, but yung difficulty na talaga niya sa constructing sentences. At it is um, indicative of challenges in expressive language sa mga patient na merong intellectual disability. And retained primitive reflexes suggest a level of neurodevelopmental immaturity that is consistent with this disability. So the co-occurrence of the mild autistic condition and the intellectual disability means that the child's developmental journey is multifaceted. Na madami talaga need niya uh, na itutulungan natin. And um, social interaction, communication, and his cognitive functioning are affected. So what we need to do is, based some detailed analysis natin sa child's condition and the findings, 
Here is a comprehensive plan of action. First is gagawa tayo ng customized individualized education plan or tawag natin IEP. Na i-outline natin yung mga specific goals, strategies, and accommodations. So, especially for a kid na 7-year-old grade 2, dapat yung goal natin is magiging, mag-perform siya better in school and also in sports. And others, so, kasi sa sport, ma, ma, meron din yung social la skills na ma-help natin. Second is provide regular speech and language therapy session para ma-support natin yung improvement sa sentence construction and communication abilities. And third, create a sensory friendly learning and um, living environment. So, need talaga i-change yung environment niya kasi maingay doon. And implement exercise like eye-hand coordination, mga slap taps, uh, fit light, ma-target natin yung fine and gross motor skills, yung sa kamay niya. And utilize specialized vision therapy like Brooks string fixation test kasi um, hindi siya, meron siyang eccentric fixation problem para ma-enhance natin yung tracking, focus, and coordination. And also introduce din natin yung syntonics therapy para ma-address yung visual processing difficulties and concentra concentration sa patient. Uh, for structured social skills training para marunong na yung bata to navigate social interactions. Implement uh, positive behavior support strategies paano niya i-handle yung mga challenges, challenges um, living with other people. And conduct regular assessment para makita natin yung improvement, yung progress, and can make necessary adjustments sa intervention plan. And provide parents training. This is so important para naman matulungan natin at mas holistic yung approach para masupport natin child's development dun sa bahay nila. Eleven is foster an open communication and collaboration sa parents, educators, therapists, and healthcare professionals. And lastly, schedule regular checkups with healthcare professionals para ma-monitor natin ang overhealth Patient. So remember, this plan of action is flexible and it should be adaptable to accommodate the child's progress and evolving needs. So that will be all. The title of the case is Navigating Developmental Challenges, a case study of a child with mild autism and intellectual disability. God bless and thank you. Yes.